All right, so fixing a deer heart. First thing you do, first thing you do is harvest the deer. Then you take the heart, you give it a good rinse. Kind of massage it a little bit because there's blood that will come out from inside the heart. Then we can move over to cutting. Now we will trim away the hard parts or the hard to eat parts of the heart, connective tissue. The heart just kind of divides itself along lines. Now inside here, you can see there's lots of good meat. But on the outside and throughout, there's fat and connective tissue that needs to be stripped away. You can completely feel the difference in those types of connective tissue in that meat versus the good muscle. So when you split the heart down through the middle, you'll find these connective tissues that run throughout the heart. So you're going to want to clean those out as well. They're like little strings, tendons. And all of that just comes out. Okay, we're going to split this one in half again so that you can see those threads and basically you're just opening up the chambers to look inside there's all those threads once it's cleaned up I cut it into thin strips think of your Chinese stir-fry type thickness and there we are left with good clean tender heart muscle so many people let this go to waste and there's just no reason for it very good stuff Now, what else I'm going to throw in this, and you don't have to necessarily do this, is the inner loin or the tender loin, the true tender loin out of the deer. I'm going to throw this in there too. All right, simplistic recipe, salt, black pepper, garlic, olive oil, any vegetable that you want to stir fry with, I actually prefer to stir fry with green beans, but this is what I have from the garden, so we're going to use bell peppers, then your meat. Okay, so now we're going, we're heating up the olive oil. We're going to mince the garlic. And throw it in the oil, so that's the minced fresh garlic. And we're going to let the flavor of the garlic absorb into the oil. Being careful, always moving and being careful to not scorch or over fry the, the garlic. Okay, now with the heat on high, what we'll do is we'll actually stop this garlic from cooking any further by throwing in the meat. Alright, 
right, so this is finishing up. You can see some of that liquid's dropped out. There's a little bit of red left in that meat, and that's the way you want to leave it. As everyone knows, you overcook deer meat and it gets tough. So this is, we're going to, now that the meat is cooked, we're going to pull it off. So now we're going to cook the vegetables up. Since that meat is done cooking, we cook them separate. And with that juice that's left over in there, these vegetables will steam up nicely. Go ahead and add the pepper. I'm going to throw a little bit of extra garlic powder in there because I actually ran out of fresh garlic. And then we'll throw a little bit of salt in. And I use kosher salt. Here it is plated up, very tasty, on a bed of rice. Mix the vegetables together. You can throw in a little bit of soy sauce if that's what your preference. This has a little bit of an oriental feel to it. Um, be sure to catch my other videos. It's, it's stuff that guys do. The topics range and vary. It's not just cooking. You want to taste a piece? Mmm.